this is Kara from Darling Vulgarity. <sighs> so Selkie had a sale. Selkie had a sale and I blacked out and I bought. And that's my intro. Here's what I got. The first piece is the Veronica slip dress in the monarchy print. If you watch my other video on silky slip dresses, I figured out that the extra extra large slip dress works pretty well on my body. Even though I have this mom tummy, I feel like the extra extra large falls really nicely and doesn't accentuate it at all. I've always been into butterflies and butterfly prints and I think this is just gorgeous. It's also made of 100% vintage silk. Anytime you are using vintage items or reusing items, I'm on board. There's a tie in the back to make it as fitted to the waist as you want. I have it tied pretty loosely in the back here. The back also has this really nice V and there's ruching across the bust. The straps are lined with black lace. That's really gorgeous. Sometimes with silky maxi dresses, they are just way too maxi and I have to get them hemmed. I'm only 5'4", but this fits me fine. I am not gonna need to hem this. I just think this is a really gorgeous date night, wedding guest, any time dress. The next piece is the Romeo blazer in caviar with a lining in the gifted print. I apologize, it doesn't match the slip dress at all, but this is just what I'm gonna try it on with. This is an extra large. I'm always looking for more unique pieces that I can wear to work, which was my main motivation behind getting this one. And I think it's this really nice, boxy, oversized. I was chilly, so my boyfriend gave me his blazer to put on over my dress. Kind of look, which I think makes it look really romantic and kind of effortlessly cool and feminine. I feel like the oversized fit and the more masculine look of this blazer emphasizes the femininity of the wearer. And I love that the lining is this gorgeous gifted print. So now I have on the Joe pant in the Villa print and the cream puff blouse in the Sparrow color. I thought I could try these on together. They really don't go together. <laughs> it's like two different shades of beige and it's not working. So ignore that. I love these pants. I actually think these are an extra, extra large, but they are elastic. So I think I could have gone down easily to the extra large. They really are like 40s palazzo style pants. It feels very Europe in the summertime. The legs are very wide. It has pockets. The fabric is this really lightweight cotton. And I've tried this print on before in the mini romantic dress. Very botanical and summery and pretty. The top I'm less excited about. I might return it. I was really excited about this top. I've wanted it for a while. So when they had their sale, I was like, oh, this is a good opportunity to just grab it. Again, I'm always looking for those more unique pieces that I can wear to work. The fabric on this is pretty stiff. The elastic on the arms is tight and it's wrapped in that same stiff, sort of uncomfortable fabric. The top is an extra large. When I untuck it, you can see that it's a very roomy top. It's meant to be very flowy and look very at the real. And I love that about it. I'm just not sure it's comfortable enough. Even though I love this color, this sparrow color, I think is so gorgeous. It's this like pink beige. The Peter Pan collar is really cute. I love that part. I love the puff sleeves. Again, it's just the elastic right here is really bothering me. The next piece I got is the Unicorn Defends Himself Soft Corset. I got this one in a 1X for no other reason other than the extra extra large and the extra large were both sold out. The 1X fits fine as long as I tie it so that it's fully closed in the front. This is just a harder print to find pieces in and it was on sale, it was in stock, so I didn't want to lose that opportunity to get it. I also have the Unicorn Defends Himself pillow sweater already and I think this will look really cute over top of that. It even looks nice with the Villa print on the Joe pants. So I'll give you a close-up of the print on this one. 
These soft corsets are so comfortable. I have a few of them now. They're made from heavy cotton. They have boning in them, so they're structure. They're also just comfortable, and I feel like they are so flattering and very, very versatile. I have a video about how to style a soft corset as well. If you haven't seen that yet, check it out. The next piece is the Aurora skirt, also in the sparrow color, like the cream puff blouse. It's straight out of the package. It definitely needs a steaming, so try to ignore that part. I really love this skirt. I think the length is really nice. It's a midi length, very full. There are three layers to the skirt. So, you know, once I steam it and get all the wrinkles out, it's really going to fill up and look really flattering. I got this also in an extra, extra large, but unlike the Joe pant, there's no elastic in the waist. So it fits me really well. It's not loose at all. I'm glad I got the extra, extra large and didn't size down. I got this actually because the color looks perfect with the Yorkshire print and I have a soft corset in the Yorkshire print so I got it to wear with that but I think it actually looks really nice with the Unicorn Defense and self print too. I think this Sparrow is just a really pretty versatile color that's more of a neutral and so you can pair it with some more bold prints. And there are pockets! I'm always excited about pockets. <laughs> So the next piece is another one that I've had my eye on for a while. It sells out really often. It went on sale and even though it wasn't my perfect size, I just got it anyway and took a chance. The Fete de Fleur pullover hoodie, a size medium, and you can see I still have a lot of room. It is totally comfortable. It is a super lightweight hoodie. I love the Fete de Fleur print. I am a total sucker for dark florals. It's a true hoodie. It's got the pockets in the front and the hood at the back, long sleeves with a black stretchy cuff, and it is very lightweight, very comfortable. I know I will get my money's worth from this one. <sighs> the next piece is a gown. Why did I buy a gown? I don't know. I just saw that it was on sale and I blacked out and all of a sudden it was on its way to me. I don't want to love this as much as I love this. I wish I had gotten it in an extra large. This is an extra, extra large. It's such a low V cut that I can't wear a bra with it, at least not a normal one. And it's very loose in the chest here. I feel like if it was just that one size down, it would hold things a little bit more securely. That being said, this gown is gorgeous. It is the Butterfly Botanics Melrose gown. So you've got the deep V, the ruffled, almost cap sleeve, the bow, very similar to the Marie dresses. The whole neckline right here, how it's low cut, and there's the bow here, reminds me of the Marie's. But then the bottom of it is like the in bloom gowns. So there's ruffling and this thigh high slit that just has like ruffles cascading all the way to the ground. It is so pretty. I don't need it for anything, but like this was less than $300 on sale for this, for this beautiful gown. So I don't know, I might keep it and just have it altered to like fit me perfectly and wear it for photos or something, but it is beautiful and it makes me happy. <laughs> okay, the final piece in my Selkie Sale Splurge Fest is this Morpho Butterfly Poncho, the thing that I am going to haunt houses in after I'm dead. It's so ethereal, so flowy, I mean, throw this on over anything. You could throw it on over a bathing suit, over your nightgown, and suddenly you are just the queen of fairy drama. I just think it's so pretty. It just adds something beautiful and not of this world. I feel like the May queen in this outfit. That is everything I've got for you today. You know I love talking silky, so if you have anything silky to say, or if you'd like to talk about them too, leave me a comment. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. There's plenty more like it. I have a whole silky playlist. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm gonna go haunt somebody now.